We're here at the 2008 Java One Conference in San Francisco with Stefan Wagenfeil from Step 2E, one of this year's Duke's Choice Award winners. Hi, nice to meet you. Good to meet you as well, and congratulations on winning this prestigious award. Mm -hmm. And why don't we jump right into it. Tell us a bit about Step 2E and what Step 2E does. Step 2E is an e-business company founded in 1999. We did some consulting, a lot of trainings in the Java J2E area, and since eight years, we have our own product, step to broadcast for TV and radio stations. And that's our main focus since then. Okay, so your main focus on TV, radio, broadcast. Yeah. What exactly? Are we talking about video editors? Are we talking about workflow management? What exactly is the, the platform? We talk about workflow management software. So we provide modules for each part of, of the, the company. It means editorial, archive, scheduling, means CRM, orders, offers, invoices, statistics, any kind of information that is needed to, to bring a picture on a TV screen. And we manage the, these informations and provide a, a simply usable interface for that. Excellent, so when we talk about workflow management, we're talking about, let's say, a television program that uh, we have to manage all the assets and, mm -hmm. and the camera shoots and where people are supposed to be and blocking. So basically the entire workflow stream of a particular show would fit into your application? Exactly, but, but not just the editorial workflow with, with content management, also traffic and billing, for example. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the TV station is, is able to, to really produce money with their assets and we do CRM, customer relationship management, so that they, the sales people have access to all the information needed within a TV company. And so you're using Java technology on the client side as well as the server side for this? Our architecture looks like a rich client on the client side with a Java Swing GUI that's uh, drag and drop capable, clipboard mapping, and anything Java Swing has to offer, what is a lot. And we have a SOAP API that's on the server side where we easily can connect other systems and, and talk to automation products, play out products, and whatever is in the market. So then by having this Java client, you're able to then, as you mentioned, bring that interface to the sales force, but, uh, to a sales office, but strip out the pieces they may not need to see, right? Yes, of course we have uh, different um, interfaces for, for each person that, that's able to, or that has to use the application. So if you log into our application, it will look different for each um, employee of the company. Fantastic, so different interfaces, depending on the job the person has to do within an entire production framework, but all managed through the same application. Yes, we have a rights layer in the software, so that the user A cannot look into information user B has to manage, uh, or it, he can look inside if he has to. That depends on his roles. Now I'm assuming that we can also track, for instance, things like changes to a particular asset or timeline. Yes, of course. Right. When was the last change, who did it, and why did he do this? <laughs> <laughs> why did he do this to my timeline and mess all this up? <laughs> yes, that's the point. <laughs> now we were talking a little bit before, so there's a, a little bit of a mobile application that uh, is available with this as well, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, actually we have some, some application parts of the, the sales um, employees that are usable via mobile phones that, for example, if you have an iPhone, we have a synchronization with, with all the contacts, we have some web applications that can be used via a mobile phone and that sort of thing. Fantastic, so basically wherever somebody is that needs to be aware of a production piece of information can access it, whether it's through their iPhone, their yeah. browser, or on the production floor. Yeah. That is fantastic. And so people can actually go to your website and get more information on this. And Now, is this also for large-scale productions or also smaller studios as well? Um, the, the main target group for our applications is a company with about 40 to 60 employees. So it's, it's the mid-size uh, TV station. Mm -hmm. But we have also stations with, with two employees that, that use the application, and, and we have some with 80 or 90 that, that use it. So it, it scales quite good. 
fantastic. And so, yes, yeah, we mentioned before, it's not <coughs> just TV. We're also talking about radio and, and other sorts of IPTV, TV, web TV. That's all markets that that will be coming the next few years. Right, coming really, really fast, you know, <laughs> quickly at, at the marketplace. So, well, that's fantastic. Well, once again, congratulations on the award, and thank you for spending some time with us today. Thanks a lot. And that wraps it up for this Duke's Choice Award winner. Stay tuned because we have a lot more coming.